Hey, bras. This was a rollerblading session done on September 10th at 12 p.m. It's an hour long video. And I'm going to watch a lot of the speedy parts, but I'm going to skip a lot of parts as well. I should have went full extension on the selfie stick. I'm going to watch like just about every car pass too. See if there's anything wrong with anything I do. I brought my chest mount with me just in case my arm was getting tired. My arms didn't get tired at all from the selfie stick. I mean, when I was messing with it in my room, I thought that it would be awful. Like, I thought I was going to have problems with the selfie stick. So I brought my chest mount with me. I'll bring it every time, actually, just in case. You never know. Oh, I can't wait to see what it, I can't wait to see what I look like when I'm rollerblading. Because I've recorded myself in the past using just my arm out in front of me. But this is like, I really should have went full extension. I've watched a little bit of this video, and sometimes my face is hidden. But I'd rather see my feet. I'm glad I'm in a position where I can always see my feet. Because I hit a lot of like sticks and such. I can't wait to see myself almost fall. I didn't fall. But I was also thinking, if I do fall, I'm fucked. I have my coffee in my hand. Selfie stick in the other hand. Oh yeah, and I can hear cars behind me. I never go anywhere outside with earbuds on. That's just foolish. Actually, there was a car approaching in front of me. I didn't notice the one behind me until I heard it. Hmm. Maybe not. Why did I stop here? I had to... Oh, I was just activating the watch. I activated my GPS watch very late as well. GPS data in the description. Follow me on Twitch. Damn, I should have started off with follow me on Twitch. How many minutes are we into this recording? Can I even see? Two minutes in? Damn. Lost them. I already lost everyone. There's no way anyone's watching still. Just, this is a speedy part. Damn. You can see my pants are going. You can also check out my GPS data to see just how many miles per hour. Like this. Uh, I really should have went full extension. If I had full extension on the selfie stick, I'd see my face. Although... You can see my mouth and nose. Sometimes you can see my face. I guess that's cool. I'd rather see my skating ability. Or I'd rather see my legs than my, in my head, though. To be honest. Oh, I made this light. I was so happy. It was a close one, too. I wonder if we can see. Nice. Let me see how I handled that, too. There's a bump in the road here. Nice. Pro. Nothing happening. Train goes by here. I also mistook the train for a car at one point. When, when I was on the other side of this road. You'll see me get to the other side. I just do a loop around this one... Oh, I do a loop around these two streets. But the streets that intersect... The streets that are perpendicular to the streets that I'm always on... Are both one-way streets. Or three... Of them are one-way streets. So I never really had to worry about both directions of cars. And that's a beautiful thing. I mean, I'm going to go to this spot. It's just not this spot. But I'm going to go to the spot that I will be at. Almost every rollerblade session. Until I get to like 20 mile rollerblade sessions. Today's session was an 8 mile ride. I felt pretty good though. Ah, oh, my skate's kind of hurting. Got to bop it in. My toes are hurting. These skates don't fit me that well, but to be honest, it's good to have a tight-fitting skate at the same time. Just one notch up. I was so worried about my coffee today. And my GPS watch. It never works the first try. That's a good reason to buy a Garmin. I bet a Garmin connects just like that. My watch is an Epson Run Sense. There's a $30, a literal $30 GPS watch. This is going to be a long video, dude. I don't even care about watching this video. And I don't care who doesn't want to watch it. I want to watch myself rollerblade. I'm going to see where I should be improving my stride. Because I'm certainly not striding the best. 
My wheels are going to get fucked, too. I had to stop a lot today. I had to stop at a stop sign very frequently. No pain at all in the quads. Not even a little bit of pain today. And I went fast on the way home on this straightaway. I did a nice sprint. I'll play that sprint thoroughly. Well, let's see how I handle this. This hill is a... This hill could make me fall right here. Let's see how I handle it live. Handled. I say just about nothing during this. There's a couple spots where I say something. I'll notice when we get to them. I'll be zooming here. On the other side of this bridge, I'll be zooming. Actually, I'm just gonna play it. I'm just gonna get my hands off the keyboard for a bit. Let's see if I should be making improvements in my stride when I'm going fast. Okay, I'm just chilling. Noise. This is the best part of rollerblading right here. Doing this, just cruising. You can't do that when you run. You can't just... Forget about shit when you're running. And you know what? I didn't think about it at all today. When I was out on this rollerblade ride. And you probably know what it is. <laughs> there was a car backing up. And they said, come on. I've had that... That happens a lot. Watch my head shake. I say no to people a lot today. They say, oh, you can go by. Yeah, right. Like, I'm going to go anywhere near your car. You do what you're doing. You do what you're doing. I'm not going near you. Although I don't really accept... I don't really think that was a mean thing to do to me. But towards the end of my ride, someone was so nice that I took it as being evil. Not evil, but... Too nice. Too nice to actually be nice. You know what I'm saying? There's a train. That's what I thought it was. I was like, oh shit, a car's coming. I heard noises. Because there's so many bushes, I can't actually see the train. And this is the part of the ride where it gets... This is the fastest part of all my rides. This downhill. Eventually, I, I change the route. And I can go to an even faster spot. And I'm so glad I did it. I never even thought about doing it, but I remember there's another road I could be going down. I've never even gone down the road before. I just know the road's there. That road right there. I go down there and it's actually more of a downhill. So I could go even faster. Eventually I'll be sprinting that. I didn't want to do any sprinting today. For a you know why reason. I don't even want to bring it up because it triggers me. That it happened. On camera. Live on Twitch. Ugh. The tr oh, I'm so mad it happened. Sprinted in place, five strides. Wrecked my quad somehow. I'm sure there is a physiological explanation. Now this part of every ride, I'm just going to skip. It's an uphill, there's nothing really going on. Oh, there were some girls selling lemonade here. And I didn't like that I was filming for that. Like, what if... Their parents came outside and saw me with a camera near their children. I was thinking about, like, changing my route, like, fuck. These little girls selling lemonade. If their parents come out here and see me with a selfie stick, filming myself rollerblading, what do you think their thoughts are going to be of me? But this is my route. I'm going to do it. And they actually ask me on, like, lap number four, do you want some, do you want some lemonade? I'm like, no, thank you. I show them my coffee cup. Nothing also happens here. Oh. These straightaways, I'm just going to power on through. Oh, when did I do this? What? Oh, I went to the wrong video. Okay. I'm glad I didn't click the wrong video. Because it doxes my house. Actually, it wouldn't dox me because it doesn't show where I live. It just shows my back door. 
I gotta remember to start the video differently. Like after, I want to have the video going at all times, just in case something does happen near my house. But I gotta remember when I get to a spot that I don't want to dox myself to press the button again to start the video so I can move that video elsewhere. Because I can't cut these videos. If I use Windows Editor, it fucks the video up. Here we go. This is the only part of the run I actually care about. This is where I start going fast. Always check for a car, too, at this part. I don't go that fast, but this is the most fun of every single lap. I wonder if I switch the route on this ride or not. On this lap or not. That's a very, this is a dangerous area too. I'm going to fall one time. Mark my words. I'm going to fall at this part. Let's pause it to show you why it's dangerous. Frame by frame it. Not even. I'll just pause it and pause it. There's like a little, you can't really see it that well, but there's a big difference in the road right there. And if you don't bend your knees and like, you got to give a little hop every time. If you don't give that hop, your wheel could get slammed into the edge of the road and you'll fall i think there's more of a no it's just on the corner damn i didn't go down there nothing happening nothing happening nothing nothing, 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 nothing all the way through the downhill we're back actually let me go back because there's a tree branch i notice stuck in the wire over here nah there it is you see it Eventually, I move the camera to face it. There it is. There's a piece of tree inside. Or the tree has grown around that wire. And since they can't bring a saw near that wire, they can't bring a saw that close to that wire for obvious reasons. They just let the tree branch hang there. There's got to be a way to remove that. That's got to be a hazard, eventually. Or maybe it isn't. I mean, I guess it's ta taut enough. Taunt enough? Taut. If the wire is taut enough. Taking my hand off the keyboard, because it's about to be fast. It's about to be fast mode. I guess I could fast forward a little bit. Check for cars every time. Both ways even, even though I think coming from the direction I'm now heading towards, if you're if there were to be a car coming towards me, that's illegal. I'm pretty sure this is a one-way street right now in my direction. Six sunbeam. I could be cranking it here, but I really didn't want to crank the quads today. I do eventually. Oh, this is a bad turn. My first turn down this road was bad. Like, if there were to be a car there, I would have gotten hurt. I took it really wide here. Look how wide I go. I'm in the other lane right now. Oh, goddamn. I didn't think that the pixelated shit happens when I don't video edit it. Oh, well. This part's so fun. You could just cruise down this road, dude. It's so smooth to just go. Like, it's effortless for me to be pumping right now. That was a stupid thing for me to do. I wanted to see what it would be like to like cross my leg a bit. Because there is a pretty sharp turn at the end of the... If I'm moving at the speed I'm going, I gave it like one half of a leg lift. And I was like, nope, done with that. Mm -hmm. And now it's a heavy uphill. I want to see what I look like doing this uphill too. I take the first uphill so very meagerly. I don't even try. I'm just like walking up it pretty much. I can't wait to show you the sewer grate at one of the laps. And this road that I'm now on connects back to the looping road that I've been doing. So it's like it's like a perfect little L shape I'm doing now. I'm going to be doing this all the time. I'm going to do this at least like 10 times. Until I can hit up to 20 mile rides. Back when I was playing Pokemon Go. I was doing. 20 mile rides on my rollerblades. Just playing Pokemon Go. I don't have a good enough phone to play Pokemon Go anymore. But maybe that will be something in the future I do. Although how will I screen record? I'll have to get a really good phone to screen record myself. Playing Pokemon Go while rollerblading. But damn do I want to. And damn if I squandered the dream back in 2016. I could have. 
I could have been making YouTube videos back in 2016. I thought about it. Just never had the confidence to talk about shit on mic. Now, this is a, that was a bad one. This is the one I was thinking about being bad. Look how, sh look how, look how wide I take this turn. I'd be hit. If there were a car there, I took this turn. It's not really that blind of a turn. I would have certainly cut the turn a lot harder if I had to have. Had to have. But damn, I'm way over. The next laps aren't bad. I wasn't even going to go out today. I woke up today, made coffee, went outside to avoid my nephew talking to me because I don't want to breathe in his hot, sick air. And when I was outside, I was like, damn, it's nice out. I wonder how many more nice days we're going to have until it gets cold. And then I thought, you know what? It's about time I do the things that I've been wanting to do when it's nice out. And this is the number one thing I want to do when it's nice out. Go rollerblading. This is so much more fun than running. I look forward to doing this. Whereas running, it's like, uh, what do I do today? What should I do today? Oh, nice! Here comes the back cam. I, wait, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Actually, let's watch the, the point in which I decide to put it onto my back. <laughs> yes, dude! Yes, I'm so glad we're watching this. I need to go slower then. Damn. <laughs> oh, baby. The catch. What do I even hit, I wonder? Oh, where was it? There it was. It was on this turn. <laughs> I spit. <laughs> <laughs> like what what would I have done dude if I actually lost my footing there I'd be fucked I think I'd throw my coffee before I threw the GoPro I would actually keep the GoPro in my hand at all times fuck my head dude I'll take a head hit save my GoPro one more time on that is that a crack in the ground that I hit I don't think it's that debris. I think it's a crack in the asphalt. Can't see. If only I had my selfie stick extended all the way. I don't even think it would help at this angle. I could angle it downwards even. Yeah, I should. Look at the air I'm getting right now above my head. Although it feels just so comfortable to not have to like lift my wrist like this. That's how I'd have to have my wrist if I were to angle it. Right now it's like... I'm using my pinky and my forefinger. My forefinger? Is that what they're called? My index finger. I'm using my index finger and my pinky to like balance it. I'm using it to balance the selfie stick. I'm not holding the selfie stick by the handle. Because that's like, that'll hurt my wrists after a while. This selfie stick is such a wide handle. I mean, eventually I'll get the grip strength, I guess, if I go rollerblading all the time. And I will. Even in the winter, I rollerblade. Even more so in the winter. It's just so nice to go out shirtless. Get that sun in. Speaking of sun in, I can feel it in my skin right now. I can feel myself radiating. No sunscreen used. Oh, nice. This looks so good. I was wondering, like, what if you just saw the back of my helmet and that is it? This looks so good. And actually, it's not bopping as much as I thought it was. I was resting it on my shoulder a lot of the time. Oh, it looks better if I don't rest it on my shoulder, though. No, maybe not. No, it would. If I don't rest it on my shoulder, there's just that little less bopping going on. Oh, I wish I had it facing backwards when this dude came to a stop at the stop sign up here. And he came to a full stop and he like started to mess with something. I was at the red light. I was at the stop sign with him. I was like, I'm going to wait till this guy goes. He's going to like, not. Pay he's looking down, not paying attention. He's just going to put his foot to the floor and hit me. And he almost did. He started to, as soon as I made my move, I was like, fuck this. Okay, it's been three full seconds. I'm going to make my move. And as soon as I started going, he let his foot off the brake. 
and I want to believe it was spitefully. I, I I actually want to believe that it was a spiteful foot off the brake in my direction. Oh, I, that was my first attempt at getting the log on camera. And look at this is the very first notice of the log. Look at that log. I get a better log shot in the next lap. I'm going to bring my coffee with me every single ride. There's no way I can't go out without a drink. And if I'm going to be drinking something, it might as well be coffee. Don't even at me about how coffee isn't water. It is. Ooh, that was a slick turn. You see him? Let's watch that one more time. Watch the cut. Always check for a car here. Because I cut that turn a little hard. And I also have to cut it here across traffic one more time. Do I look? No, I'm confident enough that there was no car. A foolish mistake one day. I'll have to make sure I check every time. Maybe I was kind of looking off the corner of my eye. I bet it was. Because I kind of do move towards the turn there. Oh yeah, we don't need to watch this until I get to the sewer grate part. And I'll notice when I get there. Now, let me go slowly though. Once every, I think it's five second skips on this. Damn, I'm going to miss one of my falls. Ooh, here's a braking. Let's see what I look like when I break. I'm not going fast. Nice. That was a good break. I hope I can catch the other break, too. There's a couple breaks where I'm actually cruising and I have to go on both legs. I hope I can catch that. I really don't feel like editing these videos down. I don't want to spend three hours a day editing these videos. Just to get this same outcome. Ooh, that was a little iffy. A little wobbly going into that turn. Gotta watch that. I clapped my rollerblades together? God damn, dude. That's scary. I'm gonna watch that one more time. No. I guess I just hit the wheel on the ground pretty hard. What was that noise? I guess it's just the wind. Ah, uh, reliving the speed. I can't wait to see how many miles per hour is going. I just uploaded the Strava, but I haven't checked it out yet. The UPS truck. I was wondering when I'm going to see him. I felt the tea from him. I felt the sneeze tea from him. When I looked at him behind me at one point. I might have even known him. I think these same UPS drivers were the same ones that I would see at my work seven years ago. I think I recognize his face. I've seen so many UPS drivers that they all look the same to me. There he is. And watch me. Watch me hold my nose. I feel that this, I have to hold back a sneeze. I was having, I mean, he was approaching me the whole time. But as soon as he made that turn, I felt the sneeze. There's a saying. It's in Japanese culture, I believe. I can look that up, though. I'm not going to talk about it. I wonder when I see this dude 
mowing the grass, too. I'm pretty sure it's my... Never mind. Next video. <laughs> Never mind. He isn't. Never mind. Oh, damn. I hope I can find... Oh, I came to a stop there. I was just being cautious, I guess. I think I missed one of the stops. <laughs> There's the log. That tree was so out of place. It's a beautiful tree, too. That's definitely like a rare breed of tree, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, baby. What is that tree? Either well trimmed or just that's the way it looks. <laughs> there's another time. Oh, shit, there's a car coming, train. Cut. I could cut even better than that. No, I shouldn't. There was a car there. If I cut any sharper than that, I actually hit the car. This might be the time I noticed the sewer grate text. It's a funny text. I can't wait to show you all. I think that's the first time I talk on this ride as well. When I noticed the sewer grate text. It's coming up, maybe? Nah, I passed. Oh, this is it. I noticed it. Check it out. Sanitary sewer. <laughs> what a lie. There's no way, dude. When was this made? 1910. Sanitary sewer, by the way. <laughs> Come on in. BTW. When do I say it? Can you hear me say it? Oxymoron. Anytime you see anytime you see me open my jaw like that, I'm pushing my strap down to move my helmet forward. That's not me like having a tick. You'll notice those. Ooh, do I stop there? I do. Oh, that was it. This is the one I came pretty close. I would have had to go on the sidewalk if that car didn't go right away. Nice. I'm glad I caught that. This is what I really want to watch. I want to watch. Oh, I can't see my legs, though. See, that's why I like doing this ride. Or that's why I like to do the rides on these roads. Where there's perpendicular roads that are one way only because I don't have to worry about cars from the other direction and I can just go behind this car I can just cruise towards this car and go behind him because even going onto the sidewalk's a bad idea I'll have to be accurate with how fast I'm going I could just ride into the road and go behind that car nice dude I'm glad I'm noticing this for multiple reasons I mean I could have stopped there for sure. Let's see, though. Let's... One more check. How fast am I going once I hit the edge of the street? Yeah, I could have come to a stop if I needed to. <laughs> and the last lap, I hit a lot of shit down here. I'm surprised. Actually, I know why. My GoPro is not making any noise anymore. I put multiple pieces of paper all around the casing, the housing. So it's very snug. The GoPro is now very snug within the housing. I have perfect pieces of paper folded, holding it together. Not a single. 
like we were getting when I was on the ride. Runs. And I can't wait to test a run with the piece of paper. Oh, this was the final ride. There's a dude... There is a... Lawn... Oh, what does that call it? Uh, a lawn mowing service. Landscaping. There's a landscaping truck that was starting to move forward while a car was also approaching. I'm like, fuck this, I'm off the road. I'm getting off the road right now. I hop right into the grass. I'm fairly certain this downhill, I hit... M there it is. No, that's the one we already saw. I hit another... I hit multiple pieces of wood. Pieces of sticks. On the way down here. And I say something, too. I say, boop! Maybe it was on the last one, actually. Maybe it was on the last lap. I think that spill we just saw. Here we go. Damn! That's one part of it. That's one wheel hiccup. You can hear it, even. There is uneven asphalt there, but I hit something else. I hit something else right around here. I think it was a car. Yeah, there's no other reason for me to do that. <laughs> it was a stick. Let's try to see what that stick looked like. It was a pretty fat stick, too. I can't believe I didn't avoid it. There it was. Frame by frame it now. Yeah, look at that stick right there. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Maybe? Oh, damn. My leg's in the way now. I can't see if that was it. And now I'm at mile number seven and a half-ish. I'll call this entire ride eight miles, though, because I missed a half mile starting the watch late, which I've done every single time I go rollerblading. I start the watch very late. I don't mind starting the watch even at my house. I have my address hidden. I'm out. And I wait for that landscape and truck to just do his thing. I didn't want to get back on the road. I'm just gonna let it play till the end. This is the final vid, is it? I think there's one more. How I many? Yeah, there's one more. Wow. 112 megabyte vid still remains. Let me show you how I approach. Let me show you how I deal with the bridge. I guess we can skip all this. Oh boy, I'm walking. I'm going to watch me walk up a hill in the grass. It's too difficult to try to ride up that small little pathway. But now you see how I deal with this bridge. I need that hand. That's why I have my coffee in the other hand. Because I don't want to bust up my wheels for no reason. So I'll bust up my wrists doing this. This is a very steep hill right here. I can't just ride on down it and pretend I know that there's no cars coming. It's a it's a blind turn too. This house right here. It's a apartment complex. It's not even an apartment complex, but it's a bunch of apartments there. And this house takes up the entirety of that turn corner. No cars. Let's do it. <laughs> that was probably my fault for not. Giving myself a hop off the curb. I probably... Let's see what is there, though. I thought I broke my wheel. Oh, it's just a shitload of rocks. Look at all those rocks. Wow, why... Look at them all. I could have sworn one of my wheels fell off. Like, that's how much of a bump that was. 
I checked my roller blade too. Like, did something actually happen? Twice even. Did it? <laughs> now here we go. We're about to enter the speed sesh. I should not have even done this, but I have to. On this straightaway, this is like the most flat I get. This straightaway here is the most flat part of all the ride. So it feels so good to do this. I could have cranked it so much harder. I could have went like full sprint mode, but of course you know why. I don't want to. I just went pretty fast though. Just gave it all like ankle power. Ankle and butt power. Eventually I was hopping. I love getting that hop going. Going so fast that like you have to actually like hop along with the rollerblades. You can't even just like use your ankles to push off of. You actually have to use your quads. It doesn't look like I'm going that fast, but I'm breathing heavy. I'm feeling it. Can't wait to check the miles per hour. That much of a sustained speed, too. The miles per hour will be accurate. The miles per hour at the end of that straightaway will be accurate. Not the beginning. I was thinking about that, too, when I was complaining. Not even complaining. I was sad about how fast I went at the track when I looked at the 100-meter sprints. And then I looked at it thoroughly... When I go, when I do a 100 meter sprint, at the start, I'm going as fast as I can go. But when I look at the Strava data, it's a bell curve, which means it's not accurate. It's not an accurate representation of the miles per hour I'm actually going. And by the end of the run, by the end of the 100 meter sprint, I'm going my slowest. So that 13 miles per hour is actually not how fast I can sprint. I can sprint faster than that. And I should get a Garmin for that reason as well. Let me drop $200 on a Garmin. Every red light I should do this too. To capture when someone throws shit at me. And here is where the spiteful niceness is. You can't see the guy. Maybe we'll see him hang out the window looking at me in the rear view or something. Like, I give him the head wave to you go ahead. You're at the stop sign. I'm approaching the stop sign. You go ahead. That's me adjusting my strap, by the way. My helmet. That's not me gasping for air. Watch the head nod. The head wave. You go ahead. And then he's like, you go ahead. No, no. Let's see if he looks at me. Let's see if it was spiteful or not. Here's the reveal. If his head's turned towards me, it's spiteful. There's a bunch of people in the car with him, too. Oh, damn, I missed. We gotta go back. Like, how could you misinterpret that? I'm the one allowing you to go. He noticed me, and then he waved me on again. Because he was at the stop sign. Completely stopped at the stop sign, looking at me. As if I was like going 50 miles an hour and he was hesitant to move forward. I'm not even moving. I'm going uphill. I guess I am moving here. But I'm not even at the stop sign yet. Now I'm at the stop. Not even. I'm nowhere near the edge of the street. Why am I doing why did I play it again? I do need to stop the vid when the car starts to come though. Frame by frame now. Oh, I see a nose. Why am I seeing his nose from that angle? I should only be seeing. No, it's okay. How about his friends? Also, not peering at me out the window. Good. Maybe it wasn't as spiteful as I thought. No, I think it was. I say something too. Every time. Every time someone's at the stop sign, that happens. Oh, damn. I say something else, too. It's 
Too nice is not nice. Ain't that the truth when it comes to being on the road out of a car. People just don't like that. If you're on the road and you're not in a car, you are viewed as evil. You should be hit in many people's eyes. I'm glad I played that, because I thought about it after saying see ya, but then I just stopped myself from saying the full thing. But I did think about it. As soon as I say see I'm going to think about that every time I say see ya. God damn it, dude. Every time I say see ya. See ya. That's the end of the bid. See ya. Not thinking about it. You believe me, right? <laughs> See ya. What if I was muted this whole time? I never even looked at OBS the entire time, dude. What if I was muted? I would cry. See ya.